feel like I had so many that like, I don't even know how to narrow it down. Um, but other than probably just like dealing with and not dealing with, I should say, probably mostly my health. That was very uncomfortable for me to address my sophomore year when things were so bad that I was hospitalized. I was really having to face these things that I avoided my whole life about my mental health and my physical health um, and come to a reality check. And I'm still doing that to this day. And it's not any easier. It's still uncomfortable. Um, But because I asked for help back then, you know, people, they commended me. They're like, you know, people wait till they're 50 to come to a therapist or to deal with, you know, these things. And they, they regret so much of their life. And I was just like, what? I should have been in therapy when I was like 10 years old. So like I'm behind, but no, they were like, this is awesome. And I didn't appreciate that until now where I'm, I'm able to feel like I can reach out to those resources. However, with family and friends, I have a lot harder time. Uh, I have the chronic issue of feeling like a burden to people. And I know that's not true. And um, I encourage people that if you ever feel like, oh, they don't have time or whatever, it doesn't matter if they don't have time. Because even if they know that you're going through something, then at least they can better help you in the future when they have time, when they are in a good place. Um, It's not a selfish act in any way. 